Hey everybody, Shane here, Shoebox Legends. Thanks for tuning in today for a shout out video to my good buddy, Greg, who many of you know over at Midlife Sports Cards here on YouTube. Uh, odds are if you're watching this video or you're familiar with this channel in any way, you probably know Greg, uh, but in the event that you have not subscribed to Midlife Sports Cards, I cannot urge you enough uh, to pause this video, check the link below, get over there and subscribe. Um, Greg is an amazing individual, incredibly kind, incredibly motivated, and the community that he has formed, the Midlife Nation, uh, over at his channel and his time here on YouTube uh, is nothing short of astounding. He brings so much to our hobby, um, just the sheer amount of research, dedication, uh, consistency, and just really interesting videos and, and topics that he produces. Uh, to me, it's, it's almost second to none. Uh, here on YouTube, and uh, I don't say that lightly. And I realized recently I've never really shouted Greg out specifically, and I started to think about why that is, and maybe it's because he's got a much bigger channel uh, than this one, and I tend to save my shout outs for smaller channels or newer channels uh, who need help getting some folks in their direction. Uh, but that's not an excuse not to shout out Greg, and I'm not going to let this go on any longer. So Greg, uh, thank you so much for all you do. Your channel to me is like an example of what I would hope to produce uh, if I had a hundred times the ambition, creativity, drive, and passion and enthusiasm uh, that I have for the hobby. Um, I appreciate it so much and I know thousands of other people do as well. Uh, and I'm really, really grateful to call you a friend. So I uh, wanted to shout out Greg by taking a look at a few cards that I pulled uh, from my never before shown boxes here at Shoebox Legends that I think Greg would appreciate. And in the background here, we've been looking at this great T206 Hal Chase, and I pulled this one out in honor of Greg. I have shown this one before, uh, but I know Greg is a big fan, not only of pre-war cards and T206 in particular, but Yankees leaders and significant Yankees players. And uh, this is one that I picked up maybe a year or two ago after reading a little bit about Hal Chase and becoming kind of enamored with uh, his story for better or worse. And I uh, thought that was a fitting one to put up, give you something to look at in the background as I was gushing here uh, about my friend Greg. Uh, let's get into the cards I've never shown before. And we're going to start with something that is really off the beaten path. But stick with me because uh, there will be some baseball cards here uh, at the end and some pre-war baseball cards at that. But we're going to start with golf. Greg, I know, is a huge fan of the game, uh, plays himself and is also uh, just a fan and collector. Mostly gets into, I think, vintage golf cards, but um, in my whole collection, finished an inventory recently, I have just two graded golf cards, and I've never shown either, and we're going to look at them both today. First one is really, I guess, like the essential base golf card that any collector should have if they want to try to get into the sport. Not hard to obtain, not expensive, and uh, the guy who was definitely, uh, who I think of as the greatest of my generation of growing up you know, as an ESPN fan in the 90s, the Tiger Woods rookie card in a PSA 9. Again, not a valuable card, I'm sure. I haven't looked in a long time, but you can probably pick these up in a 9 for under 100 bucks. But um, for a sport that I don't invest a ton of my collecting budget into, this seemed like an essential card if I was going to own just one golf card. And then the other golf card that I have is a little bit more creative uh, and one that I hope Greg will appreciate. I don't know how or why... I ended up with this one other than years back it was a case of like the ebay algorithm sending me a link you know you may also like this and in this case for whatever reason this card just really appealed to me even though it's completely outside my normal collecting interests and i ended up picking it up it's a psa dna arnold palmer check this one out uh, towards the end of his golf career shot of arnold here on this allen and ginter card uh, so this is from the 2012 Allen and Ginter baseball release, uh, but obviously that set is famous for having other subjects uh, from other sports and even non-sports on the checklist. And uh, something about this one with just the plain basic design, almost that vintage feel to it, and then the nice, clean, bold autograph. Uh, one of the best ever to swing the clubs. I'm definitely not uh, anywhere near an expert to where I can have any type of commentary on uh, greats of the game when it comes to golf, but... Uh, obviously, I'm uh, with it enough to know that those two are two of the bigger names that you will encounter anyway. 
uh, in Tiger Woods and Arnold Palmer. So there are my only two uh, significant golf cards, Greg. I hope you enjoyed those. Uh, this next one might be a little bit of a stretch here, but just bear with me. Uh, Greg, with a G, is a G-Man. And this is a 1936 G-Men and Heroes card representing the death of Babyface Nelson. And honestly, I've been really kind of looking for a reason uh, why I should show this one on the channel for a while. And uh, this is just a little tongue-in-cheek play uh, at Greg's first name, but uh, just a really weird card from the 1930s. Um, I had never heard of this set or anything, but it just kind of spoke to me, uh, the subject matter, although a little bit morbid and dark. Um, I love the artwork here and um, just the really cool, like, comic book look of this card that is now uh, approaching 90 years old, uh, but still has a lot of that cool, vibrant color. Uh, and this is a whole set dedicated to the battle between uh, gangsters and the law back in the day. So pretty cool. Um, I'm not going to read this whole back. It's pretty involved, but I will put it up here in case you want to read the back of the card. It's a somewhat fascinating, uh, if not a little bit morbid, write-up about the shootout that killed Babyface Nelson. But uh, Greg, I consider you a, a G-Man, and so uh, this G-Man card is for you. And then we're going to close out with uh, the type of cards that uh, I associate Greg with when I think of him in my mind, although he gets into many different things uh, from pre-war all the way to modern, which is one of the things I really love and appreciate uh, about his viewpoint. He's so inclusive uh, of everybody and everything in the hobby, which I think is really uh, the best way uh, for all of us to try to be. Um, but one of the ways that I think of Greg's collection is T206. Like I mentioned uh, at the outset of the video, Definitely don't want to spoil anything that he hasn't shown, and uh, you've probably seen most of them over time on his channel, but although Greg's channel isn't all about showing off his collection, it's more about the state of the hobby and trends and data and guest appearances and all kinds of fun stuff like that. The reality is, while he may not show it in every video, he sneakily has one of the best collections that I'm aware of. Uh, and I know I've been fortunate enough to get to know him uh, and become friends with him kind of outside of the comments section and the sphere of YouTube uh, direct within the last year. And uh, so I get a sneak peek at some of Greg's collection and pickups. And uh, when I tell you, he has assembled just some of the most visually stunning, high eye appeal, and I know that term gets used all the time, uh, examples of T206 cards that uh, when he sends me the photos just make me drool and make me want to go down the pre-war road uh, even further than I have. So uh, Greg's T206 collection is amazing. Uh, I don't have anywhere near that level of representation, but I do enjoy the cards. And so in addition to the Hal Chase that we saw at the beginning of the video, I have two others that I've never shown on the channel before, uh, although I've owned them for years, and I figured we would take a look at those two in honor of Greg. And these are not going to be significant Hall of Fame, you know, type caliber players like I see Greg Landing. Uh, these are more like budget pickups that I made years back, but um, this is a set, and I'm sure Greg may agree, that is just so visually stunning and gorgeous that uh, I will pick up just about any player, uh, even if I don't know anything about them, like Glenn Liebhart here, um, just because I enjoy the old school feel, the history of the cards, uh, and it's an excuse to get out there and learn about some of these players. So honestly, after tonight's video, I will spend some time probably after dinner just researching Glenn Liebhart, learning about his career, uh, his time in Cleveland, who he's depicted with here. And uh, I just think every one of these cards is a really, really awesome piece of art and kind of a little gem. Uh, this is the Sweet Capital back in this case. Um, I have maybe a dozen or so T206 cards. I don't think a single one of them is graded above a three. Um, they're all just, you know, low grade. I really lower my standards uh, when it comes to anything that's over 100 years old. But uh, I appreciate each and every one. And here is the final one that I pulled uh, for tonight's video. Tubby Spencer, not a very flattering nickname, but I love this card for obvious reasons. Um, bought this back in my Red Sox playing uh, or, or team collecting uh, days. And at one point, I had a goal to complete a Boston Red Sox T206 team set. And this card is obviously a part of that. Uh, through all my purging and everything that I've done so far, I haven't gotten rid of a single T206. I just have a hard time parting with these. They feel so special and cool. And I think I'm just maybe two cards away from a Red Sox team set now. 
uh, with the giant asterisk or caveat being that one of those two is the Triss Speaker, uh, which I don't see myself landing anytime soon. But uh, the unflattering nickname here, Tubby Spencer, uh, for my Boston Red Sox. Uh, there are some uh, Boston National League cards in T206 as well, but I've been focusing on the American League uh, up to this point. Again, just the PSA 2. You can tell how long ago I bought this, uh, probably over 10 years ago now. Uh, maybe it cost me maybe $30, something like that. But I just enjoy these little beauties. And this is the Piedmont back here as well. So uh, we're a little bit over the 10 minute mark here, which is where I like to try to cut these. Um, so I'm going to end it there. But I hope you enjoyed looking at these cards. And again, I cannot encourage you enough uh, if by some chance you are like the lone person watching this video who has not heard of Greg uh, or subscribed or tuned into what he is doing over there. Uh, you will absolutely love it. You will learn a lot uh, and you won't even realize that you're learning because it's so fun just to consume the content. But uh, as you're having fun, you will be learning, I assure you. Um, and all of that from just one of the kindest, most humble people uh, that I've run into in the hobby who I am so grateful to call a friend. So Greg, keep doing everything that you do. Huge congratulations on passing your two-year milestone recently. Uh, here on YouTube, and uh, I'm eternally grateful to call you a friend. Uh, to everybody else, thank you for tuning in, and as you know, I'll be back soon with some more content. Till then, keep enjoying the hobby, everybody. Take care. I almost forgot to mention, Greg is a huge fan of Leo, official assistant to the channel, and wanted to get Leo a little screen time as well here, and our shout out to Greg. So in honor, Greg, of your two-year anniversary here on YouTube, and because Mrs. Shoebox Legends is currently out of the house, we are going to sneak in not one, but two 1.5 calorie treats for Leo as a toast to two years of midlife sports cards. There's number one, and there is number two. So on behalf of both me and Leo, again, huge congrats, Greg, on two years here on YouTube. Cheers.